So several months ago, we ran the ripper through this, the subsoiler, and we ripped up a bunch of roots. Well, I've been telling you all this time that, hey, we're going to run the mold board through this field. Well, today is the day we're going to run the mold board through it. So this was done back in fall and winter. We've let it set. It has, we have done nothing to this. We've just let it set. And now it's full of dove weed. It's full of some kind of grasses. It's got all kinds of, of I don't know, sunflowers and other things in it. And it's just a weed field now. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and run that mold board through it. And hey, we're going to take you along with us as we do this. So stick with us and let's get that mold board in this. Well, you ever had one of those days where things just don't seem to go your way? Well, that happened to us today. Came out here this morning to run the mold board through this field and get it turned over. But we noticed that it started to clog up and so we were like, okay, this is gonna have to get shredded. Well, problem with that is that the, there's one shredder that's in the shop there's another shredder that's at a leasing property right now. And the stump jumper is the only one we have here and it hasn't been put back together, uh, nor was it set up for the LS tractor. Now, that being said, we did go ahead and put the stump jumper back together. Let's take a look at that. Wow. Well, it may not work on the LS because it's just the LS draw bar is too high. I don't know if we can get any adjustment out of this any, at all. I just don't know. We're going to have to get that on first. Get the tire put on. This is a brand new tire. So we'll see if we can get this tire to work for now. I don't know. Yeah. We went on sale and I grabbed one. Find out how good it is. Here you go. too old for this. <sighs> pick that up right there. Does that pick up higher than this? See that right there? I can't pick it up higher than that. <laughs> there you go. Now push it in. No, you're still rubbing. Am I? Yeah. But we weren't a minute ago. So what, what happened? Is that still tight over there? No, it's loose. See, we're not rubbing. Push, put, get it close again. Right there, we're like super close. Ready? Yep. Problem. This side was not loose when we did that. You know that, right? Well, we're still rubbing on this side now. So what did you do? See. What did you tighten? Just these holes. Oh, you don't want to tighten that one. Say when. Good. 
Go ahead and tighten the left one. We're tight? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna rub over here. No, if just... We're gonna rub over here. No, we're not. We can't move back that way. At all. It can't move that at all. By pushing on this side, we can't move out at all that way. That's why I had to do the left side. Put pressure on the put pressure on it. Ready? Yeah. Ain't wanna go. It ain't wanna go. Get some PB blaster. Well, here's the deal. Hey, well, I have an idea. You have an idea? Yeah. Up in there where them threads are, and that's where the problem's at. So I got an idea too. Well, the threads are right there. It's just right here. That's where I'm getting stuck. Is that turning? What? Like it's supposed to up in there? I have. That looks like it might be. Go back the other way. I didn't watch it a while ago. I didn't either. I haven't been able to get a full turn on it. So. Come on. doing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. It's loose. Grab that oil. I think that, that little crescent will go on there. You know what, if we make it a little bit hotter out here. Oh, I got the thingies. Might be easier to turn with the little one. I don't think this turns, Jason. I think this is welded in, looks like. Well, maybe it was supposed to turn at one point. But now it doesn't. Hey, you know, if you put the bolt in it, Then you won't slip out. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. So that it's catching what we're doing. This thing's at 5% battery left. Oh my word. Oh, did you go, did you tighten it? No, I'm running out of energy for that. Here, let me go find some. And I got stuff all over my hands now. So as you can see, Getting that shredder up and running was not the easiest thing to do. That being said, we're back out here. We're gonna get this field shredded. We are gonna get the moldboard through it, but it is not gonna be able to be in this video, unfortunately. We just ran out of time um, on this video this week, and so we're gonna do our best to get that video out to y'all as soon as we can. But until next time, thanks.